So people, are you struggling with the bad juju of a side mission? Either trying juju or trying to get this done solo flawlessly without dying, or are just bored and want infinite supers to mess around with? Well people, I have you covered right here. What is going on guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel and my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want daily Destiny 2 videos of this kind. Okay, so credit given where credit is due. I was told about this by a pal who saw on another up and coming YouTube channel which showcases glitches and so forth. Channel is called Glitch Tutorial and if you want to check it out, you'll find it linked within the video description. Okay, so do you guys want an infinite super while playing the other side mission which rewards you the bad juju as well as if you do this mission solo flawlessly, you also get a secret triumph. Well, I have you covered and it's relatively simple to do this glitch. Firstly, you need to have unlocked the orb generating tribute which I do believe is unlocked via legendary shards via buying the ammo tributes from the facade of Callus. Actually can't remember if this orb generating uh, tribute is the first one you buy or the last one you buy. It's definitely one of the two, but either way, you will need legendary shards and plenty of them at this precise moment in time because obviously you can only get four discounts per day. And if you're watching this within the first week, you ain't going to have many discounts, so it's still going to cost quite a lot legendary shards either way. So once you have this tribute slotted in, it goes right next to the door. So if you have it already, you'll be able to toggle it and generate orbs. So once you are doing this, then right next to it to gen your super. It doesn't take long at all. Now here is the fun part. So what I suggest you do is depending on the subclass you are using is use a super which lasts longest, which offers you that longevity in that super. Even apply armor pieces which extend it if necessary. I know Dawnblade for Warlock is great, I know Bottom Tree Sentinel is also great for Titans, but for me as a hunter, Top Tree Arc Strider with Raiden Flux is pretty epic, but Spectral Blades paired with the Gawizen Vest is by far the best for the hunter. I mean exotic armor pieces ain't necessary but they do help out. So once you have your class set up and you got that super via standing next to this orb generating tribute, simply pop your super right here while still collecting orbs. What you then need to do is listen out for the sound of your super being filled. You know that distinctive sound. When you hear it, go into your menu and change your helmet. Or you can simply be waiting in your menu to change your helmet. Just listen out for the sound. What this then does is fill up that super bar. And people, as long as before your super runs out, you switch helmets, you will fully regen your super. And no, you don't have to listen out for that super distinctive sound. That's only to initiate this process. You can switch your helmet at any time during your super and it will refill. So the supers which last the longest are best for this. Saves you being in and out of your menu every 5 seconds. And to be honest guys, it makes running and soloing this other side mission without dying stupid easy. Because as you know, in most supers you gain additional health and whatnot. So yeah, people give this a try if it's something that tickles your pickle and I hope it helps you out. Also, a quick tip if you're trying to run the other side mission solo, if you die, don't abandon the activity. Just simply load back into the tribute hall for a much faster process. So yeah guys, this glitch is pretty simple. Stand next to the orb generating tribute, gen that super. Once you have your super, pop it. While still standing next to this orb generating tribute, listen out for that distinctive super refill sound. Once that happens, switch your helmet. Your super will then regen. You can simply then run up to the other side mission in the center of the room, which is only here once you've put down 18 tributes. You can start this mission, jump into the teleporter into the ascendant realm and get on with the mission. As long as you change your helmet before your super runs out, your super will regen. And it makes solo in this thing absolutely simple. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, even a like really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.